Well hello and welcome to Retro Restos. So today we're in my personal car which is a 1991 Honda Prelude. I only bought this one a couple of days ago. Um, it was about a five hour train journey and corresponding five hour or so journey home. Um, it was worth a punt, it's a lovely clean car, I only had two previous owners. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great car, it was a faultless drive home. Um, there are a couple of niggles, a couple of things I didn't know about when I bought the car. So um, yeah, I'll show you now. So one of the first things I noticed was that the, uh, the rear lock has actually been drilled out or punched out. And there is minor damage there just to the boot lid, which I don't know if you can see. So that will need to be addressed. I didn't know about that until I went to pick the car up, so I'm going to kind of have to just live with it. That said, although she needs a good clean now, um, she's absolutely in lovely condition. The arches are really clean, there's, there's not a great deal of rust, just a bit on the sills I need to sort out. But the main issue with the bodywork is, uh, is the wing. So you can probably see a huge dent there. Um, it's quite a blunt force looking kind of uh, impact really, there's a nice little crown at the top there but I'm hoping it will actually pop out quite nicely once we get behind it, a bit of PDR should sort that out I think. But the only thing I didn't know was the um, there's a corresponding amount of damage just here, can you see that, on the door itself. Now I didn't know about that until I went to pick the car up um, but uh, Sometimes you've just got to go with these things, so I'll be I'll be fixing that. But there is a slight issue, which I'll tell you about now. Here we are inside the car, and that's the other side of the door from that damage I just showed you. Now, normally that's easy enough to fix because you just get the door card off, and do some PDR from the back, and jobs are good in. Now, unfortunately, those of you that, that know the preludes and have had the door cards on and off know that it's it's almost impossible to effectively put the door card back on with the window in the upright position. Um, far better to have the window down, then you can hook the card over the window sill and it much, makes it a much quicker, smoother operation. Only problem is, the uh, the window doesn't operate on that side. So, uh, the whilst the driver's one works perfectly, the passenger side the window doesn't work. So, what we're going to have to do is get the driver's side card off to see if we can fix it, have a look at the passenger side um, and then take it from there really because I don't really want to get the door card off until I know I can get the window down but we'll have a look, see how we get on. So to get the door card off there are a couple of screws tucked away just inside the handle there are a couple of screws there, one of the covers is already off there's one hidden away if we can find it just there in the pocket there's one in the ashtray down there. There's also a screw, if we can pick it up on the camera, uh, down here somewhere, if we can pick it up. Just inside there on the carpet. And once they're all out, we can then just get some poppers in there and uh, pop the door card off and see what we've got. Just before I forget, this is my free one. Um, I didn't notice this rather nasty dent stroke gouge um, when I went to look at the car. Um, it's on the bottom of the door there, look it looks it's terrible there. Um, but of course when nothing else has been disclosed to you and you're looking around the car generally and he's telling you about how wonderful it is and how well it's been looked after and all the rest of it. And to be fair it's very very clean. Um, you can see there's no rust on the roof, the sunroof's clean even inside. Um, it's a cracking car actually, but of course you don't think to look, well maybe you should think to look, but there it is. So whilst the door card's off, I might as well have a go at seeing if we can fix that one too. Okay, so that's the driver's door card off. Uh, if we just look through on the back, I've just taken the liberty of removing the, uh, the actual switch just over here and um, just three screws holding it on to the door card um, so no big problem and um, it's a relatively sealed unit you can pop the switches off um, what I've done though is just sort of put some contact cleaner if you can see that but you can actually lift that and get in there um, and just work some switch cleaner in um, and uh, 
yeah, we've just really just, just cleaned up the contacts and we'll uh, we'll reinstall it and see how that works. And the driver's side switch is much the same, a bit smaller this one because of course it's only got, sorry, the passenger side has only got the passenger side switch on it. So um, I've basically worked a bit of switch cleaner in there, tried to clean it up a bit. It actually didn't look too dirty so it may not be the issue but uh, no harm in at least uh, giving it a bit of a clean up. Let's see how that works. I've got the door card suitably propped. Let's see if it's made any difference. So first and foremost, yep, the driver's one still works, but does the passenger one operate? Yes, it does. Okay, and the next thing to check is to make sure that the passenger, yeah, perfect. So it could well have been that uh, just some dirty contacts or maybe uh, a loose connection on one of the switches, but either way, that's one little job that's fixed. Okay, so we've tested the windows, they all work fine. Um, now to look at that scratch on the other side. Um, but it looks like to get to it, you're going to have to remove the speaker, which has had its best days anyway, um, and the motor there. So um, get a few more bits out, it should give us some access to the rear of the, uh, of the door skin, so that we can try and do some PDR on that scratch. So would you believe it, having removed the... Uh, the speaker and the door lock relay, I bet it won't get me in there. The scratch is actually up under that beam. Now, to get the tools in through that hole, around the glass, up and underneath that beam, really is going to be quite some going. So, I think discretion is the better part of valour, and what I'll be looking to do is to use a puller from the outside and see if we can bridge across the door skin there and uh, pull it that way. So let's see what we get, how we get on with that. So that's the door card back on, the windows are working nicely. So next little job, whilst we've still got the door card off for the, uh, for the driver's side, we should hopefully be able to get in here. Excuse the camera work, but uh, I'm going to try now to get this out, I'm going to try and pull it first and then use some PDR, there's some, there's some little access panels on the side of the door and um, we should be able to get in there just to iron out any, any small marks afterwards. So first up, let's get the glue gun warmed up. Okay, you can quite clearly see how bad that scratch is along there, that dent. There it is. So we'll have to do something about that, won't we? First things first, we'll just get a bridge puller on, I think, and uh, see if we can get some of the depth out of it. So I haven't had a quick go with the uh, one pull with a bridge puller. I'm just going to put these two little bad boys along the little the gouge there and gently tease them out and see how that works. And so after a couple of uh, quick pulls with the uh, the tabs it's straightened it out massively i'm just going to go for one more in the middle and then i should be able to just work the rest then from the uh, back of the panel so hopefully you can start to see how the pdr works now um essentially the scratch unfortunately may be a bit deep but starts way back here somewhere um, you can see the lines now pretty much out and the bit I haven't quite done yet you can just see see the wavy lines where she's still a bit shallow so that's what we see there and that's literally just going in through working through one of the little access holes in the side there so just a couple more minutes but already it's uh, if we get her in the right light you can now see the scratch but you can start to see how She's not, she's still a bit bent there, but straighter over there. So we're getting there, good progress. So there she is, weather's started to come in a bit now, it's raining, so uh, that'll probably do for today. Um, she's, um, yeah, a lot better. You can see now it's uh, it's more of just a scratch now, most of the dent's gone. Um, tiny bit more fettling to do, but it's certainly looking a lot better now than it was. It disappears quite quickly, so, um, yeah, there we go, job done.